Hi, how you doing? My name is Slock. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. Just want to uh, make a quick video on how to change your IP address on your Hike Vision IP camera using the SADP tool. Now, if you don't have this tool, you could just easily download it on the Hike Vision website. The only thing I did was I basically just went to Google and I typed in SADP. And it was the first result. Just click on it and just go ahead and download and install it. So once you do have that installed, go ahead and open that up. And right away, once you open it up, it will pull up all the devices that are physically connected to your switch or your network. So right here, I have a camera that I want to install. Um, you can see right here, it's 192.0.0.64. So this is going to be the, the IP address that, um, that is assigned to this right out the box. So there's two ways you can actually do it. You can use this tool, but if you know the IP address is this by default, you could change your computer's IP address to match the network of that of that camera. So I could technically change my camera, I mean my computer IP address to 192.0.0.65 and communicate with that camera, you know, log on through the web browser and change the IP address. But when you have multiple cameras, so let's say if I'm doing a 20 camera install, you know, that's not going to be very efficient in time. So I could just pull up this tool, load up all my cameras, and just basically change the IP address uh, on the side right here. So I'm going to go ahead and assign an IP address. I'm going to type in 192.168.60. I'm going to assign this 197. Now remember yours is going to be a little bit different from mine. Um, just depend on what your network is, how your network is set up, and what IP address you have assigned to your network. That's the one you're going to use. Ooh, sorry about that. So I'm going to type in my gateway. Now to be sure about my gateway, I'm not, I'm not really sure what, what's my gateway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a command prompt and I'm going to type in IP config. So I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to scroll up and find my Ethernet adapter. And I found it right here. It's 192.168.60.1. So 192.168.60.1. And not to go into a long rant or um, mumbling or whatever you want to call it about you know basic networking. But if you're new to signing IP addresses, I want you to take a look at the subnet mask where it says 255.255.255.0. So if there's three 255s in the first three octets, you know you have to assign the IP address of your camera to match the first three numbers right here. So what that means, if, if I have three cameras that I'm installing to the network, I know all three of them are going to start with 192.168.60. Then the last number, the zero, I could just assign it any number I want from 2 to all the way to 253 or 254. Assuming those IP addresses aren't taken, um, you know, just a quick little tip for anyone that's kind of new to networking. Uh, so once uh, I typed in the IP address I want on the side of the bar here, and I typed in the gateway, you're gonna put in the password. Now the default password for the Hike Vision camera is one two three four five. We're gonna hit save, and we should get a notification that it saved successfully. So we're just going to wait about 10 seconds once everything is saved. We want to double check to see if that setting took, um, if the IP address really did change. The easy way to check that is we could type in the IP address that we just assigned to it to a web browser. And assuming that it is saved, it should pull up the home page for the IP camera. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser and I'm going to type in the IP address, 197. So you can see right here, it pulls up the camera, and I can just go ahead and log in. So since I'm actually logged into the web page, um, I might as well and show you how to change the IP address through the web browser. So if you go to configuration down here, and you hit network, you see where it has um, your network settings. Now you could enter in the IP address to what you want it again or you can enable DHCP. Now what basically what DHCP does is when the camera is set to DHCP and you have a router 
installed into your network or a DHCP server, that router or DHCP server will send an IP address to your camera so you could so basically uh, the camera could be a part of the network and this, com this comes in handy when you do have multiple cameras and you don't have you don't want to go through all of them and set the IP address on all of them um, DHCP might be your best option but that's about it thanks for watching this video on how to change the IP ad address on your hike vision camera make sure you check out our other CCTV tutorials and visit our website at www.2mcctv.com